All you need to know about breast cancer. Breast cancer or breast carcinoma is cancer that develops in the mammary cells of human beings. It can affect males but is more common in females. According to research, 2.1 million women are impacted by breast cancer each year worldwide. Despite these staggering statistics, many people around the world do not have the basic knowledge about this disease. Every 74 seconds, somewhere around the world, someone dies from breast cancer. But breast cancer is preventable and if detected at an early stage, you can win the battle against breast carcinoma. So let's get a detailed overview of breast cancer. What causes breast cancer? Cancer, in general, is an abnormal proliferation of metastatic cells that lose their power of contact inhibition due to some genetic mutation. When this cancer affects the mammary cells, it is known as breast cancer. From the mammary glands, the cancerous cells can travel to the lymph nodes and spread to other parts of the body. Symptoms Breast cancer survival rates are highest in women who had it detected in the early stage. But how will you realize that you have this disease? The most common symptoms include a breast lump or tissue thickening, breast pain, red pitted skin on the breast, swelling in and around the breast, bodily discharge from the nipple, inverted nipple, changes to the appearance of the skin on the breasts, a lump or swelling under the arm, flaky dry skin on the nipple. Who stands a greater risk of getting diagnosed with breast cancer? The chances of getting breast carcinoma are the highest for middle-aged women, 40 to 50 years old, heavy drinkers, women who attained puberty before the age of 12, women who had their menopause after the age of 55. Besides these, the women who took hormonal treatment to combat the symptoms of menopause have greater chances to get breast cancer. You should also get tested for breast cancer if you suffer from obesity or you had a delayed pregnancy. If you have a family member who has previously suffered from breast cancer, then it is possible that your gene also bears mutations for this disease. Hence, you must get tested. Diagnosis There are many ways in which breast cancer can be diagnosed. Self-examination You can feel around your mammary tissues and check for lumps there. If you notice any of the symptoms that we have told you about, please consult your gynecologist. Here are the steps for breast cancer self-evaluation. Begin by looking at your breasts in the mirror with your shoulders straight and your arms on your hips. It's normal if your breasts appear to be their usual size, with no visual distortion or swelling. Raise your arms and look for any redness, swelling, rash or puckering at your armpits. Look for any signs of fluid discharge from your nipples. It could be a watery, milky, yellow discharge or blood. Next, feel your breasts while lying down using your right hand to feel your left breast and then your left hand to feel your right breast. Cover the entire breast from top to bottom, side to side, from your collarbone to the top of your abdomen and from your armpits to your cleavage. Follow this pattern to cover the whole area of your breasts. Finally, feel your breasts while you are standing or sitting. You can do this while you are taking a shower. Use the same hand movements as mentioned in the previous step. Mammogram It is an imaging test that can be prescribed by doctors to women above 40. If you have been told to get a mammogram done, you need not panic about it. It does not mean you definitely have breast cancer, but doctors prescribe you to do it just to be on the safe side. Ultrasound A breast ultrasound uses sound waves to create a picture of your tissues deep in your breast. This helps diagnose any abnormalities that might be affecting your mammary cells. Besides these, the doctor can also ask you to get an MRI done. 
MRI or magnetic resonance imaging is one of the most reliable ways to detect cancer. Or you can also get a breast biopsy done. Stages of breast cancer Breast cancer stages are denoted from stages 0 to 4. Stage 0 denotes non-invasive breast cancers. In this stage, there is no evidence of cancer cells or non-cancerous abnormal cells breaking out of the part of the breast in which they started or getting through to or invading neighboring normal tissue. Stage 1 denotes invasive breast cancers. It is divided into stages 1A and 1B. Stage 1A describes invasive breast cancer in which the tumor is up to 2 cm and the cancer has not spread to the lymph nodes. In stage 1B, there is no tumor in the breast but small group of cancer cells between 0.2 mm and 2 mm are found in the lymph nodes or there can be a tumor in the breast that is no larger than 2 cm and small cancer cells in the lymph nodes. Stage 2 is divided into stages 2A and 2B. 2A is when no tumor can be found in the breast but cancer larger than 2 cm but less than 5 cm and has not spread to the lymph nodes under the arm or under the breastbone. In 2B, the cancer which measures between 2 to 5 cm has reached the auxiliary lymph nodes. Stage 3 cancer is divided into 3A, 3B and 3C. In stage 3A, the cancer must have spread to many auxiliary lymph nodes. In stage 3B, the cancer must have spread to the chest wall or the breast region and caused a swelling or ulcer. In stage 3C, the cancer must have reached more than 10 lymph nodes or it has spread to the area near the collarbones. Breast Cancer Treatment you might be relieved to know that breast cancer survival rate among women has increased in recent years. This is due to major advancements in medical sciences. Some common breast cancer treatments include Surgery Various surgical options can be referred by a doctor according to the diagnostic test results. Surgical options include lumpectomy, mastectomy, etc. Radiation therapy Radiation beams are targeted to kill cancerous cells. It is usually used post-operation. Chemotherapy This is a treatment using therapeutic drugs that is used prior to surgery to shrink the size of the tumors. As a result of this therapy, you may observe some side effects such as hair loss. Hormone therapy It blocks the hormones estrogen and progesterone which assist in the growth of the tumor in your mammary tissue. Medication Nowadays, several medicines can stop the progress of the tumor in your breasts that is caused by this cancer. Is breast cancer preventable? You can surely do your part in preventing breast cancer by adopting some simple habits. Please learn your family history and if you find that someone has had breast cancer, get yourself tested. If you fall in the age group of 50 to 74, you should get a mammogram done every other year. This will help you get to know if you have breast cancer and early detection can increase your chances of survival. Women above 75 years of age should not get a mammogram done as it can have adverse effects on their health. Avoid wearing very tight undergarments and go for loose-fitted ones. Avoid drinking too much alcohol. Always remember, inactivity causes an increase in the risk of breast cancer. So, maintain a healthy exercise routine to keep this disease at bay. Eat healthy, stay on a balanced diet, and you will have lower risks of breast cancer. Breast cancer can be fatal, but the survival rates are very promising too. If you have been diagnosed with this disease, keep faith in the doctors and take care of yourself. Keep an eye on your mental health and family support during this time is also very important. That's all from us today. We want you to know that your voice is important to us. 
so please leave a comment below. If you're new here, then click the bell icon for notifications of our new videos and subscribe to our channel. For more content, visit our website www.thevoiceofwomen.com. Till the next time, stay safe, stay healthy and let your voice be heard.